What's going on, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Today in Ace Combat. Today is December 7th, and back in 2010, Escape from Sand Island, aka Mission 19 of Ace Combat 5, took place in no other area but Sand Island. Would it surprise you if I said that President Harling is nowhere to be found within the capital? Not really. The hardline war Osea is waging right now hardly resembles the peace policy the President was promoting. Let me guess. He disappeared just before we invaded Yuktabania, right? Exactly. My journalist friends told me that nobody's seen him enter or leave the office since. All of his decisions are communicated through the Vice President. And it gets better. A lot of the military officers that resigned over disagreement with the President's arms reduction plan have started to return to the capital. I found out something myself. That Belkin Aggressor Force I was telling you about. Apparently, they're called the 8492nd Squadron. Also, and here's the kicker, Captain Hamilton, the adjutant base commander here, used to be assigned to the 8492nd. What? Oh, they're back. There's no point in talking to that blockhead commander. Treated our president like an idiot just because he wanted peace. What about his adjutant, Captain Hamilton? Roger that. The captain and I will go see him. Grim, you go let Jeanette and Pops know. Right. Be careful. What? Nagase and the captain went to see Hamilton? What is it? Did I do something wrong? Let's hurry. You got it. We don't have time to warn the captain in Nagase. We'll have to talk to the base commander ourselves. War Dog Squadron returned to base in order to report that they were ambushed by the 8492nd. Sadly, this fucker Captain Alan C. Hamilton told the base commander Orson Peralt that War Dog Squadron were spies. Coming, second lieutenant. I was just thinking about calling you over. Me? Special Forces Second Lieutenant Peter N. Beagle. Or I guess you prefer Pops. Fifteen years ago, you and Bartlett were shot down over enemy terrain. Bartlett's squadron HQ was destroyed. And all of its data was fried by Belka's magnetic pulse weaponry. When you made it back to the Allied front lines, it was Bartlett's word that convinced them that you were his squadron leader. Is that really true? Bartlett turned out to be a spy. So, who are you really? Can't prove anything about your military record. Can you? Hamilton's got the base commander deceived, too. I punched that guy's lights out. That bastard was wearing a Major's insignia on his shoulder. I don't know who it is, but someone's trying to widen the rift between the two countries and keep this war going. If O.C. continues to win, then the war will be over. And they're after us to prevent that? You're kidding! You people are the pillar of morale for the entire Ocean army now. And now you know something you were better off not knowing. The President's disappearance. Listen, Pops, who exactly are you? <sighs> I 
It's no good. They seized our planes in the hangars. Hangar C in the rear probably isn't so heavily guarded. Yeah, but over there, there's nothing but... We'll escape with my training jets. Good thing I maintain all my planes well, eh? Let's try it. Jeanette, you take the seat behind me. Base security tries to arrest them, but War Dogs, Pops, the journalist Albert Jeanette, and the damn dog Kirk all took off in stolen Hawk trainer jets. And so the team took off to the Solo Islands. So where do we go now? We no longer have a home to return to. Attention all Air Force planes. Enemy spy elements have made off with four training jets and are heading north. Find them and shoot them down. Repeat, all Air Force planes. That's Hamilton's voice! The bastard! Guess I'll try my hand in combat maneuvering then. Excuse me while I take the lead. Follow me, people! But it wasn't that easy. This is the E-492nd Squadron. We have a visual on the enemy. Engaging. The 8492nd is back! Oh, how we miss them. The best and worst flight path begins. And I just mean that because of how much of a roller coaster this mission is. We have to fly at a dangerously low altitude through mountains and all sorts of crazy shit. Pops is back to leading us again, which is actually really nostalgic. The island has a magnetic field which jams the radar systems. And after making it out of the islands and thinking they were home free, they run into Marcus Snow who was sent to shoot them all down. Goblin unit captures them and says that they were KIA. And then they get transferred to the OFS Kesh rule. Alrighty, everyone, that's going to be it for today's episode of Today in Ace Combat. I want to know in the comment section below, do you think everyone that had one of the Hawk planes would have survived if Marcus Snow never came? I know he got sent to shoot them down and stuff, and obviously you can't really change that part of the story, but I don't know. I feel like they could have ejected either way. Maybe I'm tripping. I don't really know i mean i it's kind of up in the air right i guess no one really knows but i always like to speculate the story 
from a different perspective. If you guys haven't already, make sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter and join the Discord. The links are in the description down below. And subscribe to my YouTube channel if you guys haven't already. That's it. I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. I love you guys so much. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. And of course, as always, I will see you all in solitude.